so these instances are managed by the system manager now what if we launch a new instance and we don't specify the IM role one instance and we won't specify the IM role for the tags let's give it a name I'll name it on premise and let's add another tag let's tag it with environment and let's do POC proof of concept and for the security groups let's select any security group obviously this instance won't show up in the fleet because it doesn't have the IAM well so we won't see it there if we go to the fleet manager it's not here yet it's here now the on-premise we can't see it in here but we can connect it as an on-premise server so let's do that let's connect to the instance and once we're connected let's make a directory in the temp and then let's download this thing from there this is the system manager agent and we will install it after we install it we will stop the service then we will go to the system manager and scroll down until you see the hybrid activation from here and in here let's create an activation let's name it I'll name it on premise and I'll copy this and paste it down here and create the activation now we have the activation code in the activation ID let's copy them and put them here copy this and paste it in the server now it's successfully registered as a as an on-premise server so let's start the service and we're done now if we go to the let's refresh here first and we have one instance registered as an on-premise server now let's go to the fleet and see what we have now we have four instead of three this one just show up and it's prefixed with MI this is the prefix for the on-premise servers and this is a uh, prefix with I so it's a managed instance from AWS this is how we do an on-premise server uh, how we connect it to the fleet manager or to the system manager in the next tutorial we'll see how we can patch the instances this is it for this tutorial. See you in the next one.